through the fifth, working in the sixth. I don't know you could ask for a whole lot more. Brian oh. Terrio takes a strike. Hey, last night, we'll show you in a little bit. The throw. Guys in the dugout saying it's the night game against the Astros. Seen it, Moose, 270. He's going in the Hall of Fame this year. The third base coach, Richie Dower. And the pitch. Morales takes right on the inside. Oh! Start for the fish. 328. Right. Oh, it's Giambi had a great line about that. So not a pass. Way onto this pitching staff in spring training. And we're in 10 at bats. One for 10. Out in front of that one. The 2 1 pitch on the way. Jamie Reddy delivers another fastball and 82 years ago. And the first pitch of the ball game is in there. Strike one. Born bunted his way on. Curveball. It likely will not break 82 miles an hour with his fastball. The ball right into center field drove McHenry home. Jason Kubel. And the curveball is in there. Ruben Tejada punched a single to center his first time up. Crawford went deep oh. last night. Really can cut on the dime. It's back. There's a shot on the ground. Nelson goes to second, and there's the turn for a double play. Scudero is the bouncer back to Moyer. After the leadoff homer, he goes through the next three batters. That's another good one. Tom Seaver didn't pitch in four different decades, did he? Broken bat looper and caught by Scudero. Maybe early win. Brian Bogusevic. Lucas Lee preceding Bogusevic's long ball. That's a screamer going foul. For days when he wasn't pitching, they were long days, he said. He really prefers playing every day. This time he's rung up. Snyder taps it on the left side. Nelson makes the strong throw for a 1 2 3 second for the ageless one, Jamie Moyer. Shortstop defensively. His career will be uh, determined by how well he handles the bat. Time he taps out to Moyer, one out. Yeah, well, play he made early on when pitching for the Cubs, he crashed through the railing. Phelps told him he should hang it up about a decade or two ago, forty million dollars ago. And he gets a strikeout of Harold. Number. That's a pop up right there at home plate for Fernandez. Beautiful night to play. Goes to right field and shallow Scudero underneath. Lazy pop. Todd Helton gives way. Scudero. <laughs> oh my! Line shot to left field. Gonzalez has it. In the air to deep center field. Dexter going back and. It makes the catch. Going two on Posey. There goes Cabrera again, and it's a bullet. Nelson comes up with it, holds the runner, makes a fabulous play there. One and two on Shearholtz. And it pops him up down the right field line. Pacheco may have a play. He will. Thank you. Brian Terrio <laughs> takes his strong. <laughs> I bit the bullet at 45 and wouldn't got him. Well, wait a minute. Yes. Here's the one two swung on and missed. Terrio's gone. So Jim. Ground ball to third. In April. This is in the air to deep left field. Cargo will have room. In fact, the wind brought it back. 2-2 again. 
And Cabrera had to reach for it. The timing was off. Marco Scudero battling that wind. He'll make the catch. Moyer's going to have one play. That's to flip to Jordan Pacheco. And this should get him out of it. Good job by Tulowitzki. Ball coming in from Gonzalez. Rocky's trying to win this series. And if you up too. And Not Moyer. Man. Moyer able to get the uh, strikeout on Bumgarner. Offered it first with one out. And Pagan, that's a swinging bunt. Rosario has one play that's first. And he gets him out front. Popped up left side. Tulowitzki has the best angle. We've done Zippo against uh, tough man and Madison Bumgarner. Good play by Tulowitzki. Play right side, Pacheco. Can see it in the sun. Rarely have to deal with. The ground to first. It's supposed to rain tomorrow in San Francisco. They've only had a half dozen rain out since 18. Moyer's going to catch a break there. And almost threw that away. Flat, two seconds flat. He's had him at 176 oh. a couple. 3-1, Bumgarner fouls it off. Asked the best he's at City. 3-2, struck him out. Two outs. Ball club overall in his career, 9-7, 4.07. Good way to start your day with a ground ball out. For the all-time Padre mark, done 35 times. In the air to Dexter Fowler in center field. Two outs. Innings through two starts of any of the Rockies uh, starters. On the ground, Detroit. And he'll go the short way. That's a very nice start for Jamie Moyer. Hit in the bats here. The ball's behind the ball, the, you know, behind the bat. How did the ball continue to travel 90 feet to third base? Then? Well, I mean, if it hit the back side of the... I watched. Picked off. Throw to second. In time. I tell everybody, work fast. High fly ball to... Left center field. Dexter slides over and he has it. Two very good innings from Jamie Boyer. Show if the if the well, chance for two. It doesn't show if it's on the back. Back up the middle. Scudero's there. There's one on the first double play. With 3,000 hits. Fly ball, right center field. Michael Kadair waiting. And Chase Headley's retired. Double play ball. One and two. Second, the Rockies have turned this evening. In Colorado Springs. This is popped up. Scudero retreats. And Marco makes the catch. 3 nothing, Colorado. And this could be two. One, two. That's the third double play behind Jamie Moyer. Moyer's been outstanding. Both clubs limited to four hits. And it's a ground ball to the right side. Scudero throws out Venable. That's Let it go. one you just hope goes foul. And it will. Man. So, um. I'm sure they'll probably look to go to the bullpen now. So with a three-game lead in the South Division of the Texas League. That a baby. That's Lost speed, down, swung right underneath the baseball. Perfect innings tonight in Tulsa. And this is fist at the set. Boy, he has thrown off their time. Jamie Boyer, six strong innings now. Short to turn into a 6 4 3 double play. That would work here. Instead, you'll get a pop up to right field. In the air down the right field line, Kadir will make the catch in fair ground. The second run will come home. On 
the ground to second. And Moyer retains the lead. Jamie Moyer getting a standing ovation from his wife. Well deserved. Got an experienced battery. Moyer and Hernandez. And the bump right back to Moyer. That'll get Presley to third base. Impressive stuff. McCutcheon, ground ball, get a run in. Tudelowitzki. Doesn't matter what the speeds are. If he gets you into those kind of modes, it's over. Walker in the air to the left. Gonzalez under it. Drop it! He'll make the catch. Pirates strand one, get one hit. That is, uh, that's up there for baseball. For anything athletic. Say. And Tulowitzki. He's got a pair of home runs. Moyer has struck him out once. A 78, 79 mile an hour fastball. Behind him in the batting order, Mr. Barmas. And Barajas goes down on strikes. Correa out in front. Somewhat relaxed. Not that it uh, is going to guarantee he's back and feel like he could pitch again. Correa strikes out. Two strikeouts in the inning. 1986. What you got to think about when you're thinking about Moyer? I've been retired for 23 years. I played three more years after 86. Rather than a thrower at an early stage. McCutcheon a looper to shallow center field, and Fowler is going to run underneath it. And get it second base. He's taking off for third, and McGee hits a roller toward third. Nelson picks it up, fires on the first base. And Onora on the bases. Layoff pitch, a bouncer to Tulowitzki. Rifles it over to first base. Aside from Kent to Kobe. So Michael Navarro grounds to short. Tulowitzki. Chance to help his own cause. Get on this two out opportunity. Two on, two out. One, two, strikes him out. Chrysler's two on, hit on the ground to Helton. Presley nearly oh, made it out. Wow. Was any other opponent. The next team down on that list would be the Diamondbacks with six straight. Turns this one over to Tulowitzki for the out. So just for the one day. McCutcheon. How easy is this for Jamie Moyer when he gets in that groove? Easy as one, two, three. Pirates gone in order. On to the sixth. Walker trying to get something going with McGee at first. And Walker bunts. Nicely placed bunt. This, throws him out. This one to right field. And shallow coming on is Kadire. He'll make the catch. McGee will not try it. Base hit out of the infield. And ground ball to third, and Nelson steps on the bag, and that kills the Pirate threat. Pirates end up leaving three. It's Walk three, punched out three. Nice change of pace there. One and two. Swung on and missed. Big strikeout there. Um, his innings pitched out of the Rockies bullpen because right now, series 18 innings with the bases loaded. And totally got on three pitches. Swung at a pitch. Get two singles. And this is a line drive to right. Grabbed by Kadir, thankfully. And he said the transition from spring training to the regular season this year, together in the regular season game here at Coors Field. Was that the case for you, George, or what? He got hurt. Strike three on Neuenheis. Runner takes off, throw to second by Hernandez is in time. Beautiful throw. Double. To second, Scudero is shaded there. He's going to have to go to first. And he gets right. And look at that. It's a base hit to left field. And I'll tell you, had Diaz been positioned differently, run right to the football field because Peyton always had a football in his uh, bag and he run routes good breaking ball 
I know it's course. Did he go? Yes, he did. That is huge right there. Or his game. Santana hit it hard to right field in his first at bat. He works at every part of his trade. When he came over to the National League, he spent a lot of time in the cage becoming a not a great. One, two. Got him. Jamie Moyer back to back strikeouts. Struck out at least 10 in a game. Think about that. That's a great bunt by Moyer. And Santana jumped all over Josh Johnson. It's eight to four in the ninth. We're about to win that ball game. And Giambi's going to run to the bag. Just did get there in time. A little bit of a leg issue with his calf, I think. 2 0. Uh, can Dex get there yet? Duda pulls it toward the hole. Giambi knocks it down. Flips to Boyer. Nice play, Jason Giambi. Today. And a great play at third by Nelson. And the pick at first by Giambi. You got the game even at this level. Takes you back. His wife is watching. And that's strike three on Davis. Bullpen. Now this is. Oh, it's and Jamie Moyer with his seventh strikeout. Rotation that has really struggled. Chance for two. Chris Nelson to Scudero. On to Todd Helton, a 5-4-3 double play. Played nine games against the Rockies in his young career. And this ball is in the air to shallow left. Cargo will make the catch. And Jamie Moyer. In around and hook the baseball. To third. Nelson bobbles. Did he get the tag? What a play. Did he get both yes, outs? He did. He did. 2 1 and a broken bat roller to short. Did well hey. offensively. He's do, doing even better this year. This is to third. Nelson and the ball was secured. So the game. And this is top to third. Now he's got one play. That's the first. Nicely done. Brian McCann will be thrown out by Jamie Moyer. Back and forth on who actually won in those travel ball games. But Dexter seemed pretty confident it was him. Guys. All right, Jenny, these two uh, Georgia natives, and there is Dexter on cue. High fly ball left field. This will be an easier play for Cargo. It's an hour away from Atlanta, Turner Field. Look out, don't collide. The Dyer makes the catch. Bourne retired on a fly ball to Cargo. He's had more at-bats left-handed than he has right-handed. Almost 4,000 more at-bats left-handed. Help battling uh, some wind and Scudero battling wind. Boy, I'm watching Todd. I'm... The game have more home runs in that time frame. That's a strike. It's more than any other Rocky starting pitcher has produced in a game this year. You wouldn't think it would come from Jamie, and that is indicative of. He's truly remarkable. 2 2 pitch on the way. Curveball popped up in foul ground. Coming down the line in a hurry is the third baseman. Moyer turns ready. Jamie delivers in there for a strike. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch on the way to Matt Kemp. Swung on and fouled away. Over seven. 1-2 one, pitch to Kemp is taken on the inside corner. It's left-handers. 284 against right-handers. It's a little pop fly to Moyer. The Jamie halfway to the plate makes. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch on the way. Swung on, popped up. Tulowitzki backing out on the grass, waiting and makes the catch for the out. One away, Uribe checks in at 247, takes a fastball that's like 30 and 40, and coming back up from the minor leagues, and the family was having dinner.
Jamie's 3 2 pitch on the way. Swung on and missed as 70 hitters have been giving him a bad time. The 2 0 pitch, good breaking ball count. The next one, way out in front of it, is Loney. Same location back to back. 2 2 pitch, swung on, missed, and down goes Loney. Jamie ready, 1 1 pitch on the way. Comebacker, Moyer has it, turns, gets it over to first base. Here's lead one to nothing. Jamie Reddy, left handed deals, and it's fouled away. No balls in one strike. The next one to Capuano was swung on and missed. To Gaines. 2 2 pitch, swung on and missed. Cutter, sinker, change. That's in there. One to nothing, Dodgers, bottom of the third. There's the bunt we thought about, fouled away. Candlestick Park. 2 2 pitch on the way, swung on and missed. Five strikeouts for Moyer. Runs. High fly ball to center, but it's playable. Dexter Fowler. 39 home runs, and the Dodgers 36. Ground ball, Scutero. Two down at the plate. High fly ball to right center, but playable. Kadir is there. Mike puts it away, and that's it. Joe's bunt gets it down, fielded by Helton. They throw and get a force. Out and struck out. Coming up. Keep waiting for him to bunt. 0 oh and 1. There's the bunt in the air. Foul. But having to meet a lot of health problems. And a breaking ball takes care of D. It's yeah, but he had five at bats in what three innings? Yeah, something like that. Here's Tulowitzki with the chance. And Pollard is retired. Right back up the middle. And a strike on Justin Upton. Here's the 01. And that's off the end of the bat. Strike three on the inside corner. Justin Upton frozen. And a big jump, but this ball's popped up and playable for Rosario. Good footwork by Rosario. Velocity, but what the ball does the last five feet. Playoffs, you'll get to see what he's doing. It's some great stuff from the former number 22 of the Rockies. Walks on Brody. And Henry hits it in the air to shallow center. Dexter will not get there, but Tulowitzki will. April, May, and, and into the first part of June. And I'm trying to think of the. That's on the corner, two and two. I've always coached the perfect game showcase ran by Jerry Ford. Well, that's. He has a 3 0 lead here in the third, and that's hard on the ground. Tulo got over in front. And he just did get Pollock. Pretty good pop for Jason Kubel. And this could be two. Nice job by Tulowitzki. Because Upton got into him pretty well. On the ground is short. One out. Has to call it first base, but such a stand-up guy. He's written a book with Galarraga. This ball's well hit to left. Cargo going back. He'll make the catch. Two outs. And round ball to third. And Pacheco's got it. Nice job, Jamie Boyer. Goldschmidt and Safe at first, two runs are going to score. Told you he hadn't had an RBI in a while, he was due. Syracuse, New York, we went to a junior college in Florida. Troy will throw him out, one guy. If he can get through this with 80 total pitches, then uh, it might be a whole lot less than that. Nice job by Pacheco, staying with it, throwing out Pollock. And a ground ball to third. Pacheco goes the short way. And the Diamondbacks are done in the fifth inning. Jamie Boyer rolling on. That's 
a strike two and one. Place that the reinforcements are about to get the, in that direction. Curve ball and Kubel goes down. Semi checked about a week ago. On the outside corner. Got every stat imaginable in the game of baseball. Strike three. Ground ball to third on the backhand. Pacheco, long throw, and an accurate one. One, two, three, sixth inning for Jamie Moyer. Ball four, and there you just can't keep that Moyer off the base pass. The plate pop out and a ground ball to third. Toward Colvin and right. He's got it. McDonald tagging up, and he'll move 90 feet. The Mets. Reyes pops it up. Helton calls for it and makes the catch. To hit two and two. He does and he hits it. Deep left. Gonzalez has room and he makes the catch. Oh, one. Stanton. Right center. Kadire makes the catch. Runner scored all the way from second. Gets the bunt down. Burley looked at second and goes to first against Moyer, which is odd because Moyer lined around that one. Check swing. It's a strike. Pettit just reappeared on that lift. Yes. That is strike three called. Pitcher to hitter. Burley trying to bunt. And he drops it down. And as you pointed out, feet at first, and Helton is very good at first base. That's why Burley's trying to force. Breaking ball, struck him out. That he's pitched in, which is a major league record. With the average. The 3 2. That's right down the middle. Brian Peterson, Hanley Ramirez. And Austin Kearns. Stay back and look. If you guess, he'll outguess you. A wise scout. Here's the one, two. And right now. To center. Fowler has it. Kearns is tagging on his way to third. Ground ball to third. Pacheco to second. And the inning is over. Hits that one and hits it pretty well. Gonzalez goes back. <laughs> Makes kind of a nonchalant catch. It's inching away. And Peterson, that's the cut fastball. He never racked up a lot of strikeouts. He was always around the plate, changing speeds, getting ground balls, and here he does that with the leadoff man. Sure, ever that has been older and made a major league start than he was. That was Satchel Page. Here's a ground ball to short for out number two. All trying to set you up a little bit. Fly ball, shallow right to Dyer there, inning over, but Joey Votto, one of the, what, three, four greatest left handers in the history of the game. Popped up. Shallow center field off the bat of Frazier. And that's the first out. Get him anywhere. Double play ball here, and that will end the red second inning off the bat of Ryan Henning. But. In the air for Giambi in foul ground, and he has room. Throughout his whole career. Gets a lot of those. Really ran it up and in on Drew Stubbs, who pops it up. I like it. Bruce Homer is 120 of them. A lot of home runs and one home in 25 innings coming into this ballgame. Struck out Bruce on a curveball to retire the side. Big swing and a piss by. 
Bridge of Homer in each of the. Back to back strikeouts for Moyer in a, in a special uh, nutcracker edition that we have, the great one here in uh, Cincinnati. It'll come back in the, in the wintertime and maybe have an appearance. That's in the air to left field. Gonzalez with room, and the inning is over. Joey Votto to be followed by Brandon Phillips and then Jay Bruce. Already a couple of hits today for Votto. This time they'll get him on the fly ball to center, one out. And 23 runs batted in. So. You know, he's still not your quote unquote prototypical. Two and two to count on Phillips. High fly ball. This one will stay in the ballpark. The ultimate truth or dare. He said, I love using the hitter's ego against them. I don't think there's a question at all about that time. The question is, or will he be like as what happened 10 other times in his career, whether he been released or granted free agency? Straight away center field, and the inning is over. First time the Reds have been scoreless in an inning today. They lead as we go to the six, seven to three.